Hello, my name is Paul Moore. I run my own small business called uh, Moore's Classic Car Interiors. We um, do all of the upholstery work for uh, Omicron, the Lancia specialist. And I also own and are currently restoring my own Lancia Appia Vignali. This is the uh, workshop, uh, you could call it my man cave, where a lot of the work is carried out on the restoration. Uh, over there you can see the steel hardtop for the Lancia, uh, quite a rare piece. And uh, on the table there you can see the petrol tank which I'm currently working on. This is uh, one of the Italian cars I own. It's uh, uh, Alfa Romeo Twin Spark. This is the, the Lusso version, so it's got the uh, leather interior, uh, power hood, um, power aerial that still works amazingly enough, um, as well as uh, aircon. Uh, the other car, which is uh, the one you all want to know about, is the uh, Lancia Appia Vignali. And um, as you can see, a lot of work has been carried out already. We're currently building it up, um, so it's ready to go to paint. Um, it was going to be in uh, in May, but obviously in the current situation, it's likely to be delayed. So we've had the body shell sandblasted, and um, underneath it's had what's known as Raptor coat, which I can show you around here. So all up inside the wheel arches, it's got this special coating, sort of rubber based coating. Um, this has been done in the same colour that the uh, the bodywork is going to be sprayed in, so it's going to be in a, in a silver and a blue grey silver, um, which we think is a nice nice touch to have all of the underside wheel arches and interior um, done in the same colour. And back in the man cave, um, so I decided to start this, this video blog uh, for those who are Lancia fans and uh, may be interested in, in seeing some of the restoration as it progresses. Um, and hopefully um, people may learn a few things and, and I may learn a few things off uh, other members as I bodge things up and you tell me that I should have done it some, some other way. Just make sure before you work on any petrol tank that it doesn't contain any petrol vapour because it's the vapour that ignites. I'd hate to see you blow your shed roof off or singe your eyebrows. So um, just exercise common sense and um, make sure that there's no residue of any fuel in there whatsoever. As I mentioned a little while ago, this is the petrol tank out of the Appia. Um, I've recently had it uh, sandblasted uh, so I can uh, freshen it up, give a, a new coat of paint. Um, I also noticed that on the inside, I don't know whether you can see in there, um, yeah, there's quite a bit of corrosion. I can't really just about see that in there, but there's lots of crud and corrosion in there, etc. etc. So I thought um, what I would do is also treat the inside of the tank. There are uh, there is a kit that's available from Frost Restoration um, where you can uh, flush out the uh, the inside of your petrol tank and. Um, Treat it with a rust, um, um, what would you call it, an inhibitor, and then um, this this would form a resin, which would then set um, as part of the kit. So it also allows you to um, restore the inside of the tank as well as the outside. Now, uh, something else I'd noticed um, is that the the sender unit uh, was absolutely well knackered, I'd say. Um, now there may be someone with the skill set to restore this uh, back to working condition. Uh, I don't possess those skills, so after a little bit of searching I discovered this uh, brand new sender unit uh, from a company called Car Builder Solutions. And what it has, it has an adjustable float which uh, is clipped and braised together so it's a universal fit and it allows you to uh, adjust the length of the float according to your petrol tank so once it's clipped together uh, they then advise that you solder it and the good thing for uh, this tank is I don't know whether I can kind of 
manhandle that in there one-handed so I can just demonstrate. I managed to get it in a little while ago. Uh, just bear with me. There you go. Um, so you can see, once I just rotate that slightly, that the holes line up absolutely perfectly. So uh, I don't know whether this would be the same perhaps pattern for other classic Lancias, but certainly for uh, the, my Appia, uh, that is a, a very low cost um, alternative to, uh, to maybe even refurbishing your original sender unit. Uh, this sender unit may well have to be calibrated to your gauge, um, but they also offer a piece of kit that um, allows you to calibrate it perfectly to the gauge in your Lancia. So, uh, as I explained before, here, here are the dents in the bottom of the petrol tank, and um, let me just explain, I am not a panel beater, okay, I'm an upholsterer, so this might not be the correct way of doing it, however, it's the only way I know how. So, what I've got is this screwdriver with a rounded metal tip on the top um, and what I intend to do is just pass that through there and just feel for where the dent is and just gently tap in the dent out um, being careful not to hit it too hard because what you may do is stretch the metal and then you get all sorts of problems so uh, less is more in this case so just continue to gently pushing the dent out from the inside and um, I should carry on with this and uh, uh, I shan't bore you with it for too long I'll have a good crack at it and hopefully I'll show you the end result soon So I've been um, gently tapping away for about the last 10-15 minutes and as you can see um, most of the dent has come out. I'm very pleased with that, uh, with that result. I haven't gone too mad and stretched it the other way. Um, if that's the case then you need to um, use a, um, some sort of blowtorch to shrink them up back. What I may well do now is um, is use this a little bit plainer um, just to highlight the high points shave off a little bit of the high points and that should also give me a good indication as to where I need to work at it just a little bit more <laughs> you can see that in that light but you can see that has illustrated the high points and just shows me where I need to just work at it a little bit further to get it that much more better if that's a, if that's good English I don't know so as you can see um, I keep just gently tapping it out then I'll turn it over and uh, file these areas down and you can see the small dents here there's a larger one along here that I just need to work at it and um, so I just keep gently tapping away at it and then turning it over and filing it to highlight the, uh, the low points until I've, um, I've got a satisfactory finish so next time what I'll do is I will um, refurbish the inside of the tank. I'll talk you through that process. Um, so thanks for watching and um, stay safe. See you soon.